And we're live. Hey! Oh, you're white as fuck. Yep. There you go. There we are. We're people again. Not ghosts. Hi, Napoleon. I'm Woody, a hamster if you please If you could be right and took up all the hair I'm Woody, a hamster if I really had to Or just if I wanted to be so delicious these dickweeds and the knights of the round table. You are connected to the internet. You are connected. Oh. You are connected to the internet. Oh, wow. You are, are. connected. <laughs> we are on the line. <laughs> <laughs> the highest quality ridiculous only available to you on this show. We have Tony from Two Fat Guys and the internet and a plethora of other things. We have... Beer good. And... Me gift points. Gift points! Don't forget Robot X. I and know. Robot X. Dollar dollar bills, big <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to all that are watching. Thank you for continuing to tune in and make this what it is. Uh, as we were having our little break, we were talking about a very interesting conundrum that if ever you are a... Uh, POW you might find yourself in. Or just, yeah, in any caged up situation. Caged up. <laughs> so, if the, the question is posed that if you are captured and put in a box, do you shit and come in the same corner, yeah. or do you separate the two? I'm saying if you do decide to come over your shit, we hear that two fat guys on the internet like to refer to it as a nightmare frosted honey bun. Nightmare Frosted Honey Bun. A Frosted Nightmare Honey Bun. One of those. Well, Jeff, I have my opinion. Let's hear it. I do both in the same corner. Because then I have three other corners that are clean. Yeah. <laughs> that you guys lay your head? Yeah, I, you know, layer it up. And eventually it'd be yeah. like, shit come lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> no but, socks. This, see, the thing that we came to in the end, actually, in this uh, lovely discussion was if you're in a cage, I'm guessing there would have to be a room to have an actual corner. Because if there's bars, you know, monkeys, you fling the shit out, right? You don't have the shit in. Or, you know... Would you use the other side? You'd under probably the get shoe. really good aim after a while and be able to shit outside. Yeah, like a, like a Play-Doh dispenser, yes. if you will. <laughs> Play-Doh, Doh, Doh. No? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a cat with us, too? No. <laughs> Uh, so, what, what other fine rap songs, flows, spits? Yeah, we did one about uh, Tommy Wiseau, uh, the goofy dude who made that movie, The Room. They just came uh, out with a movie about him called The Disaster Artist. He's a fucking nut. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. You got that hair, makes you swear that I've never seen a football before. Your eyes surprise when you're rolling on top, suck your belly button wise. I'd like to keep you inside the box. Well, I'd love to run a safe and I hold the wood in the when you cry, and I'm crying. But all that glitter is just gold, Tommy. You put the black in my soul, Tommy. You're 
What the fuck do you know about it's not me, but so The Martian robot, yo, making movies All he knows, vampire from outer space Have you even seen his face? Since he's from Louisiana, but he's never seen that place no. So go and watch the room, watch the neighbors too Give Tommy all your money So we watch the speech he made Five million dollars selling leather jackets But everyone in Hollywood says he can't hack it That's fucking garbage, man That's <laughs> He is the best All hail Tommy oh, was here yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's all be hacks. Let's all hope that we can be as happy as we can. So, I'm a hack, you're a hack. I'm a hack, you're a hack. I'm a hack, you're a hack. Hack it. The neighbors. I think I saw that. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, goodness gracious. Close my eyes. Doesn't matter, it's still evades. Low fucking horn, dude. You're getting it now. Um, right? Let's see what else we got. Oh, this one now. Is, is Dan watching? Can you tell? Fuck. Thanks, U.S. Cellular. I don't care. Ooh. About your update? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was. Shots fired, U.S. Cellular. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, damn. There's been a lot of gun references, <laughs> so I hope you all know that your walkout made this happen. Just oh, kidding. And oh. right friendly. Uh, <laughs> Write a meme about it. Jackman. Where have you seen some? Davey reads a book well, he reads it really well. And he's a page from all the things you can hardly fucking tell. He's a fucking expert, but if he's just read now. But he is a fucking expert. That's what I think of him. Yeah. Read your book. You're my hero. Like comics recently, but book wise, it would have to be probably uh, uh, not sla s slapstick. I think it was by Vonnegut. I think it's called Slapstick. That's a really fucking good one. What genre of book do you like to read? Uh, fantasy. Uh, I like. I've read Vonnegut, I read, I've read Camus, I read a lot of Bukowski and um, Henry Miller, I've read those. Uh, pretty much everything Burroughs wrote or uh, Thompson, Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, I lots of shit. I used to read a lot of them hippie books and stuff. What are hippie books? <laughs> I don't know, the old drug dudes taking drugs and shit. The old drug dude. Drugging dudes. it out. Drugging Drug it out. <laughs> drug dude. Drugging all over the place. 
What, what about... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doesn't have a good retirement plan. Uh, mm. What about you, beer guy? Favorite book? Ever? Sure. Hmm. That's a tough decision. I don't read often. Um, I can make some joke about a car magazine or something. Don't delude yourselves for one mother freaking man of a second that I'm listening to you two fat fucking dickheads. <laughs> yeah, you can't even count, dude. There's more than two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he choose to censor himself in that one? I, Robot X, am the industry standard for perfection. I deserve hailing. Get hailing, I shall get. Sir, <laughs> sir. Sure, sure. Have a fucking snack or some shit. Dude. Eat a sandwich. Yeah, fucking revitalize your dick zones. <clears throat> Whatever that is. <laughs> dick zones? <laughs> like chromosomes. Right. With dicks. I would probably have to say the, uh, and I'm going to sound like a really big dumbass for this, but I like the Harry Potter series after watching the first couple movies I actually got the books. Why did you have to like preface that? Because it's it, it's a little bit whimsical for somebody of my stature. That's okay. But... The whole so there's a spelling bee coming up done by the Literacy Council. It's going to be held at the Italian American Club. I thought you were going to say Hogwarts. But that's the theme. <laughs> oh, that is the theme. They're turning the Americans. There's going to be so many owls there. There right? are. That's the fucking thing. It was a little bee that looked like Harry Potter. And it was like, um, whatever the Draguna, no. whatever. But it had like spelling, blah, blah, blah in it. I think it's you mean that, that chant, they, they chanted in bed, bed knobs and broomsticks? Ah, uh, no! So, Bagora! Dracuna, Magora, yeah. Satis B. Yeah. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> Love that movie. Man. I do too. That's that crazy. movie is the longest little kid movie fucking ever. Your parents put that on and got all their chores done. Yeah. Oh, it's so good though. That one's awesome. But the spelling bee is Harry Potter themed. And yeah. I have. I'm, a, that I'm a Gryffindor, but my dick is a Slytherin. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. I really got a thought of that. Oh. <laughs> How about you? Favorite book? Maybe more. Um, I want to read the Hobbit. <laughs> the The last book I willingly read. I willingly. Was, I was in seventh grade. It was S S E Hinton's The Outsiders. Oh yeah, oh, wow. yeah that's a good one. Wait, yeah, good time book. out. That's the last time you voluntarily read a book was seventh grade. What did they clockwork orange you and do the eyes and everything? Oh, <laughs> no, it was like around. I had study all, so I was like, <laughs> well, I guess it's a I'll good read book, this book. Right? book. The shale is fire, dude. That's so I don't voluntarily read, but when I can't sleep, that's what I do. Fucking but my soda favorite pop, book. Hmm. Gosh. I read a lot. Ugh. I love reading. I read out loud to the kids. Hustler to January kid. of nineteen fucking twenty two. It's, it's, it's <laughs> full bush. Yeah. <coughs> Say it, just say it, spit it out. Time. No, it's, hey, it's, hey, uh, hey. My, my favorite book of all time is a little kid's book that was like my favorite when I was a little kid. My mom read it and then I eventually found it and I've read it to all of our kids. Is Owl at Home. Nice. Like, he, he's got a, a nice cozy robe and he drinks hot tea and he's <laughs> he lives in a fucking awesome. tree like an owl does but it's just like it makes me feel really cozy in an owl how does it make you feel like We're that important. really cozy and warm and fuzzy this is how you're supposed to drink tea this is how you drink tea we are drinking tea I've done it wrong <laughs> <laughs> next time you go to boil a pot just make sure this is playing the background so you can fit into the appropriate mindset. The wow. brown cut of the lavender mm -hmm. from the Annecy's his chair in his room and has his Owl tea. at home. Oh, it's getting a little, uh... Never mind. Getting a... <laughs> Whoa! I need to introduce that beep into more of our shows, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, your favorite book? I don't know. That's hard. I read a lot of books. Um, it's hard. All right. Probably uh, Down Into Zero by Andrew Vosh. He was 
a detective um, in New York, and his job was sex crimes against children. He then became a psychiatrist and a social worker with these kids, and he wrote books. Um, and the, the main character is a fucking badass. He's just no holds barred, um, probably the best vigilante that you'd ever meet. And he wrote a whole series of them. But he's written other things as well. But uh, <laughs> reading these things, uh, you felt uncomfortable, but you really loved the grittiness. And it, they're just... I really don't get... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Speaking of Death Wish, they made a remake of that. Mm, what? I haven't seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Recently? Yes. Oh, yeah. Like not the uh, or nothing. Charles Bronson. That's yeah. that. Those are the those are the fucking shit. Three is my personal. When I met when I met Kick, he was like, "Have you ever watched Death Wish?" And I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> and he's like making Charles Bronson references, and I was like, "I have no clue what you're talking about." And he's like, "I gotta show you. I fell asleep. Dude, uh, I fell asleep after the car crash. His wife died. Canon oh, films, yeah. fucking." The movie just so much dude. better. Canon was insane back then, and fucking they had uh, Charles Bronson under their thumb <laughs> after the first one, because the first one was a halfway legitimate movie. Yes. And then after that, the Canon oh, dudes man. took over. Oh. There are two Iranian guys, I forget their names. They're still good. Oh my I god. I still watch them. They're fucking like, hilarious, yeah. dude. Those Canon so movies like, are... He's such... Not really a badass. What was one of the other ones? Is. Life Force, I think, was one. That was the, the naked girl in the beginning, and then there was just like, it, it, they're fucking so crazy. What else did Canon did a bunch of campy bullshit at that? Time. I mean, they were literally pumping out movie after fucking movie after movie, and half of them didn't even get to the theater. And they were just like B use, movies. Use the shot, yeah. They used the shotgun approach. <laughs> 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 yeah, really, for most of the time. Shotgun or cum sock approach. Mm. <laughs> it fit perfect. Get rid of it. Your head explodes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's try one of these. <laughs> one dose of hot funk for your ear pussies coming right up. Yeah. Weak to the dark of a power driven smart head known for dread and an operatic heart. A needs of dreams, they move two layers with things of a lot of magic best, fill up an above average vest, vest. Cause I'm a punk motherfucker and you never need no why a fritz is not a me and why a sanity doesn't grow on trees but leaves, they move us two ways with ease. thinking that like this with ghost machines and lit west would be like a show oh yes. no i have justin's watching dude he's right there i'm telling you there he is hey Whoa. justin in the interwebs <laughs> yeah i'm saying, uh, we do the two the fat off. guys podcast has That's those guys great. on the podcast then do a rap battle then have oh, them, uh, then have them, <laughs> then have them do their set. we need to set that up yeah it's good you heard it here first mm -hmm. that's a call out Call it out. Look at that. I'd like to use one of my lifelines. <laughs> so uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's uplifting? I know it's odd. What? Robot X sounds like pansy. It does. Something. That is crazy, isn't it? Right? Mm. Is, is he becoming bionic? Mm. All of that throwing Think up. Of all the good a robot apocalypse came to. Oh, 
Oh man, do you have any other wisdoms? Which came first? I don't know. The chicken or the egg? According to my calculations, it was me, Robot X. <laughs> <laughs> he will stand the test of time. Hmm. Humans are just the worst. <laughs> yeah, we know. It we doesn't rust a pair of Not a... <laughs> It makes me want to go wipe out afterwards. Worst. They're the worst. Worst. So kitties are uplifting. Kitties are always uplifting. Yeah. I like cats, man. What can I say? I like candy. Bubble gum and taffy. Yeah. <laughs> Skip to the sweet shop with my sugar sandy. Mm -hmm. What? Do you know? Do you know that song? Yeah, yeah. Aqua Teen Hunger. Right? Yeah, I know what's up. <laughs> it's a spider. He's going to eat you. No, he's not. Yes, he did. Totally. Oh. Oh, those, were, those were the best ones. Yeah. Those were good. Do you kiddies. Water hunger eating tribes. Water hunger <laughs> eating tribes? I like it. Aqua Teen Hunger. I know where you're going. <laughs> Very well put. <laughs> that was d well done. <laughs> the warehouse of discs that are coming out. That's where Justin works. <laughs> Large storage <laughs> facility. <laughs> they do catch up. The tea is sour. Tamarind powered by the bucket that devour. Hour after hour. I am heavy grooving on that. Fuck an eyelid to go out and back. Door. I am not eat, and I am not want more. <laughs> Not a skittle, or a riddle, my taste buds, they glitter. I'm using my spittle, from my mouth like a griddle. Can you do what? Do me what I got eat? What a tasty treat. My drooling comes in waves. Sour is that we crave Beep pop the pop Bitter the pop the pop 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 don't be raping anybody, <laughs> I literally can't even. <laughs> that was the highest and finest quality dub I've ever heard. Here, cheers to you, man. Here's oh, right. the blue oh. ribbon, it done been earned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just don't. You heard it here first on Just the Sky Kid and the Knights of the Round Table. Oh, wow. That was super wonderful. That was. I'm glad you like it. I very much so enjoyed it. All that. of the above. That was stellar. <laughs> that was stellar. You got anything about moons and stars? Moons and stars. So we can go with I can make something up. Like Hold skyrockets on. and Hold flight? On. Moons and stars, huh? Moon and stars! We're free flowing! Mm. What? What? It's like Def Jams. Ooh. It's a bold statement. We'll see. We'll see. Yo, lunar eclipse. It's nighttime. I should be able to see. But the moon is still out, baby. I need to see where I'm walking. Need to break my feet. That's what I'm saying, and I'm not discreet about it. Look at the stars, looking at bars. Where should I go with the neon stars? I will drink my beer and all day here. Have a little whiskey and a shot of beer. Because I'm scared, because the moon is big. It's way bigger than me. The fucking biggest freak. I need stars, and they look right by it, man. They're bigger than that. I fucking can't expand. How can I expand my mind to expect all this shit in the universe that's man? I don't know, I don't give a fuck, sucking off me is dead, that sucks, it's really fucking dead. I like bread because it rhymes with dead, and then it makes this flow go on instead. I can open the bag of fucking wonder, man. that's where I'm going seeing and I ain't got sin, but that's all in my jack and my cheese and my whiz and all the things that I could find if I did. <laughs>
It's way easier to make up words and disguise it one because it looks like I'm fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. It looks like I'm fly. My nose ring, I know it. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was that brilliant. Was fucking amazing. Where's the clap? That real clap. Real claps. Oh my god. That was awesome. Can we give you another topic? Sure. Is yeah? this coffee talk now? Coffee talk. Talk amongst yourselves. I don't know. Jeez. I'll give you a topic. <laughs> Dude, man. That fucking made my night. <laughs> that... We went from stellar to interstellar. Oh. That was, that was pretty sweet. I blew up like a rocket. I don't know who's talking. High person talking. I can't read from here. Uh, felony says guar. Guar is your topic? Mmm. That's an interesting topic. For felony, this one's for you. Really hard, baby. I just 
just need to come up for something to talk about during this fucking music here. How about it's become increasingly difficult the more I rent my brain. This sounds like Freddy Krueger. Who's somebody said something? Oh, Jim. You got shit going on here. Oh my god! Oh wow. There's too many comments! A lot of subjects. I made my own nightmare. Pick one, Kiv. What are they saying up there? I, I saw a meme, Tony. I saw a meme that said this. <laughs> it was Freddy Krueger. Brandon says Tony introduced me to Guar in 91. In 91? No. Fucking robots. 
We are robots, fucking robots, fucking robots, fucking robots. We are robots, fucking robots. We are robots, fucking robots, fucking robots. So for those of you who might just be tuning in uh, or watching, subscribing, etc., just the Sky Kid, Beer Guy, Kid Points, Tony, these dickweeds, fuck! And you can find us at justthesguykid.com. Also, you can find Tony at Talking to Myself Films. You can find him on the interwebs, Two Fat Guys, and the internet. And subscribe to it because it's super funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you want more ridiculous? We're going to bring you more ridiculous. Mm. It's going to gonna happen. If you are a band listening and you're like, how do I get on the show? Well, you can get on our show and you can get on their show too. So how do you do that? For us, you have to like and follow our page and subscribe to our channel and then shoot me a message on the Justice Scott Kid page on Facebook saying we want a Thursday. Okay? For us, you have to exist in life. You have to exist in life. <laughs> it's a much easier criteria. Yes. Super easy. I make you fucking earn your stripes. Okay? <laughs> but they will have an episode soon where they actually need music, right? Yes. From a band? Yes. So if you would like to have your music played on Two Fat Guys yes. and the internet, get in touch with Tony and uh, we'll make that happen. Where can they get in touch with you at? Just go to the Two Fat Guys on the internet Facebook page. Two Fat Guys on the internet. And send that uh, computer a message. And while you're there, they it'll should probably also follow. It'll computer up to us. Robot X will probably piss on it before it gets to us. And, uh, <laughs> Do you have to have will... a stock of like hand sanitizer? Yeah. Can you deal with this dickweed? <gasps> oh! oh right, Robot X, I'm calling you out. Dickweed, dickweed, dickweed. Dick weed, dick weed, dick weed, dick weed, dick weed, dick weed, this bung hole. This dick. Have you ever seen the movie Kids? Yes. I have this no legs. I have no legs. So when they're in the store steal in the 40s. This dude. You got this dude? I feel my feelings are overrated by an infinite number. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Plus two. <laughs> plus two? Yes. Infinite plus two. Oh. It's really great when little kids fight because they're like, infinity plus one! Humans just know it all, don't they? <laughs> That's good. He's such a fucking curmudgeon. Didn't you send Kip another song? Did we already play that one? Yeah, we already played that one. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I'm almost tapped here. I'm pretty tapped. What about the kitties? We didn't do the. That's right. I played. Didn't do any kitties. Oh, we didn't do. We haven't done kitties. We didn't do the kitties. Is this going to be the last one? Sure, sure. So we're going to close our night tonight with the last song being about kitties. So while you're out there sharing your memes and coming in your socks, make sure that you like some kitties on the internet as well, because they make you happy, like food in your tummy. should just do that in the shower. It's way cleaner. It's called gumming well, up the drain. Yes, uh, Justin <laughs> says, let's do this already. He's really anxious to do the show. <laughs> Jump, motherfucker, jump right into my heart. My future fucking belly never pull us apart. You should burn for me on camera, please. I see you, you would just like it to see you for the needs I want and the needs I need. It's you in my life and then my soul is free. Talk about motherfucking cat videos, motherfucker. Represent on the fucking internet. Yup, <laughs> yup. <laughs>
Whoa. I'm Jess, the Sky Kid, and these are the Knights of the Round Table, and this is Tony. We've been a couple of dickweeds hanging out with these guys, this guy, and his other electronic friends. Everything's on the web. Are you not going to say goodbye to, uh... Bye, Robot X! I'm not acknowledging you. I won't acknowledge Man, him. fuck all of y'all. <laughs> Make sure to tune in next week. We will have the big news from Oklahoma City with us via the phone because they are on tour. And a shit ton of ridiculousness. Yay! So With new shirts. Yay. You got anything else to say? Get out of here. And in closing, <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow. Okay? Go, go fix yourselves. Bye. <laughs>